Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this scalene triangle ABC as you can see in this diagram such that this side length BC is a square root of 2 and the angle A is 30 degrees and this angle B is 105 degrees and now we are going to find the length of this side AC. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and in this video tutorial I will share with you two different approaches one with and the other without law of signs. Please don't forget to give thumbs up to this video and here's our very first method without the law of signs and here's our very first step let's focus on this triangle ABC and we know that the sum of the angles of this triangle are 180 degrees this angle is 30 degrees this angle is 105 degrees this angle has got to be 45 degrees therefore our angle C is 45 degrees and here's our next step let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point B onto this line segment AC let's go ahead and draw perpendicular let's go ahead and do that one and here's our much nicer looking diagram and now let's focus on this triangle DBC we can see that this angle is 45 degrees this is a 90 degree angle then this angle has got to be 40 5 degrees since the sum of all these three angles must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore this angle dbc is 45 degrees and now we can see that this is a 45 45 90 degree special triangle and here's our special triangle in this one this side is equal to this side if this side is one unit this has got to be a one and this is going to be one times square root of two so one times square root of two is same as square root of two and here we have already got square root of two that means these two sides have a unit length so thus our side length BD is one unit and side CD is one unit as well and here's our next step let's focus on this triangle ABD we know that this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 30 degrees so this angle has got to be 60 degrees so our angle ABD is 60 degrees and now we can see that this is a 30 60 90 degree special triangle and here's our special triangle as you can see if this side is 1 this side is going to be 2 and this side is going to be square root of 3. Now as we can see in our diagram in this triangle our BD side is 1 then this side AD has got to be square root of 3 so thus our line segment AD turns out to be a square root of 3 as you can see and now we can see that this whole side length AC is equal to the sum of these two individual lengths AD plus this individual length CD no wonder I put down AC equals to AD plus DC so therefore our length AC is equal to our AD length is square root of 3 plus CD is 1. So thus our length AC turns out to be a 1 plus square root of 3 units or in terms of decimal it's approximately equal to 2.73 units. Now let me share with you the second method this time we're going to be using law of signs before we get started let me go ahead and look at this vertex a I'm going to call this angle alpha this angle beta and this angle gamma and this side I am going to call side a this side I'm going to call B 
and this side C. Now let's recall the law of sines. Law of sine is A over sine alpha equal to B over sine beta and now we are going to calculate the value of B which is our side length AC and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is square root of 2 divided by sine of alpha in our case is 30 degrees equal to B divided by sine of beta in our case is 105 degrees. And now we know that our sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5 and sine of 105 degrees is 0 0.966. So that is going to become square root of 2 divided by 0 0.5 equals to B divided by 0 0.966. Six. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 0 0.966 and 0 0.966 on this side as well. This cancels out. So we got B equal to 0 0.966 times square root of 2 divided by 0 0.5. So our B value turns out to be approximately equal to 2.732 units. So the side length AC turns out to be approximately equal to 2.732 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.